All right, guys, I'm super excited to bring you this brand new gadget. It's by Joby, it's called the Swing. And this is it. It's a electronic slider for your phone and it comes with a few different accessories in this complete kit at 165 pounds. And here it is. This is going to be really cool in terms of getting the best B-roll footage. Here's a close up of what the swing looks like. You can see it's very palm sized. I'm gonna dive in a little bit more deeper about this. You get yourself the infamous Gorilla tripod. This is the 3K model. Then you also have the ball head 1K that goes on top of the electronic slider. Then you have the grip type one, which is the phone mount that you place on top of the ball head. As well as that, you have yourself a USB-C cable and a user manual. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up. At the bottom of the electronic slider, you have yourself a quarter 20 inch thread, which is you know a universal mount. You don't necessarily need the Gorilla tripod, but you can also mount this on any tripod. So I'm gonna showcase mounting it on this. I'll also showcase on my actual tripod and then give you some examples of what this can do because essentially you have to download the Joby app to use this and it will give you the easiest way to create the perfect linear motion slider footage, which is perfect for focusing on product samples, getting the best B-roll footage, creating visual effects, creating time lapses, you know, really cool things like that. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so just giving you a closer look at the swing electronic slider. You have a bubble level at the top just to make sure it is completely level when you do mount it on a tripod. You have yourself the quarter of 20 inch thread there. This also comes with an adapter for a sort of larger 3 8 screw that you can add on to that. Likewise, you have that at the bottom to mount it. You have these lock buttons to make sure that the slider itself is locked into place when you do twist this onto the tripod and screw it into place. There's the power button there. You press it once to turn it on and you hold it down for a couple of seconds to turn it off. And then on the left hand side, you have yourself the USB-C charging port. You can charge this for about two and a half hours for a full battery and this will give you about one and a half hours of consistent usage. So let me go ahead, mount this onto the Gorilla tripod. It clicks into place and then you know that it is solid. Let me go ahead and now twist the ball head onto it. You hear clicking once you know it's perfectly in place and then finally the mount. There we go. And now I'll just mount my phone into the top there. One thing to note is you should have the swing facing outwards the phone right at the end there with the lens facing backwards just so that when the electronic slider starts working, it, the actual swing device doesn't get into the shot. Okay, you open up the Joby Motion app. The first time you connect this, there's a Bluetooth icon just on the top right. When you hit that, it searches for it. Just make sure it's powered on by pressing the button on the side. And it's so quick and easy to connect. It's the fastest connection I've seen with a device via Bluetooth, much more faster than all of the gimbals that I've had. This one, you just literally tap the button there and now it's connected, very easy. The first time you use it, you may get a message to update the latest software, so make sure to do that. So once you go back, you have two options, create and share. Go into create, which is the blue bubble there. Then you have two options here. So we have time-lapse and we have video. Very simple, if you hit time-lapse, this will allow you to basically create a start and end point. To do this, you literally hold down the left button there for the minus. This will make the electronic slider start moving left. Hit start as the start point and wherever you want to end it, hit the plus, just hold it down and hold it gently while the phone and the slider moves to the right, wherever you would like the time lapse to finish. And this is the same on the video option. You hit the end button there and that's it. It gives you a little timer there three minutes and six seconds it will last. To go back to the start, you hit this back arrow here. Once it's finished going back to the start, you'll see a button that says go, and it will start to create the time-lapse. And I'll showcase an example of this time-lapse and other time-lapses as well that I've shot with this. It's now ready, and then you can hit go. But before you do that, you also have a few options that you can select from the bottom left. If you tap that button, you can change the speed. You can have people interval, so if you wanted to get you know, yourself in the shot or maybe traffic or cars or clouds, you know, there's various different options here. 
that you can select to get the perfect time-lapse footage of your landscape. If you want a bit of a delay before it starts, maybe you want to quickly run around and you want to be in the shot, you can set the delay here as well. And then you can select how many seconds you would like that to be. And I'll do 10 seconds as well, actually, because I'm going to be in this shot. Switch to the rear camera. And if you want to go through the tutorial, you can do it from there. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So I'm going to hit go and it will give me a 10 second timer. And there we have it guys, it's completed. So now this is what the full time-lapse video looks like. So now let's take a look at the video option. I've set up my little Funko Pop set of heroes and I've made the Gorilla tripod a little bit lower to the desk. Select video, same concept set the start and end points by using the minus and plus buttons so i'm just going to move this a little bit closer one other thing to note as well you can change the length of the camera so switch between the lenses so you can zoom in a bit i would say if you zoom in quite a lot because of the vibrations of the swing you might see a shaky video once it's completed so i would always recommend to maybe use as wide as a shot as possible to get the most stable smooth footage from your phone so let me go ahead and get this a little bit closer to these guys. You can also change the orientation of the mount to horizontal. So you'd have to place your phone in the right position so that it doesn't hit the slider, like so. Or you can keep it as landscape, which most people may do. So essentially, you know, you could use this for your social media, TikTok videos, you know, those kind of things. So let me place this in the right position. That will do. I'm going to set this. Let's move it a little bit this way. Now I'm going to set this as a start. And this will be the end point. And I think it's great that it shows you how long the video will be as well. So this shows me it's 19 seconds. Let's go back to the beginning. One other thing to note as well, in the final output of the video, you do actually hear the electronic noise. So this would primarily be for B-roll when you're trying not to use the audio that you're shooting with the swing itself. So that's really great to complement as a background B-roll product showcase where you can put maybe music in the background. I think that would be what this is mainly used for. So just remember that in case you wanted to use the audio from your phone when you are using the swing because you will hear the electronic motor coming from the swing itself. Okay, and we're ready to shoot. So you hit go. And that's it. You have the option to edit as well after each video. If you go in there, you can trim it, you can change the speed, you can share it, or you can save to your phone. You don't necessarily have to save. Once it's completed the video, it will automatically save to your gallery, but you do have the option to share it elsewhere. And then you can play it back as well in case you wanted to edit it manually and trim some parts out. Now let's take a look at the final output. So you guys saw how quick and easy this is, and this is going to be my go-to electronic slider. I've not used an electronic slider before because for DSLR cameras, Traditionally, they've been very expensive. This one is so affordable. Not just that, you can buy the swing itself separately instead of the whole kit if that's what you want to do. Like myself, you know, I've mounted this on my tripod, so you don't need to get the Gorilla Pod specifically, but this is a very convenient way to mount this in various different positions and in various different places. Now, one thing I've noticed is to get the swing back to its central position, there's no easy way to do it via the app. When you do turn this off, just holding the power button for two seconds, 
that's where I found it will automatically go back to its original position. I just wish there was a button that they can add to the app that allows us to do that and just to recenter it. I think that'd be very convenient. Now, just to show you a bit of a variety as well, here's a couple of more examples of time lapse and video shots that I've created using the Joby Swing. So you see, you know, there's some really cool footage that you can create with many different scenarios. You can do it outdoors, indoors. It's very pocket friendly. You can easily take it in your backpack and take it with you on shoots externally. There's also a separate device called the Joby Spin, which is like a circular one that allows your phone to rotate 360 degrees. You can get that as well in addition to the swing, which is a linear motion electronic slider. So a couple of different options to get you the best footage for whatever filming that you want to do. Check it out, the link is in the description for both the swing and the spin if you wanted to take a look at both of those. The pricing information, the accessories, and everything you want to learn about this is also there in the description. If you guys have any questions about this device, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I have new videos out with really cool gadgets like this coming out all the time, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.